Hey y'all, welcome to sixth grade, chapter 10, lesson nine. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. So it wants us to graph these first and then to go ahead and find the distance between B and C, okay? So first I'm gonna go ahead and graph them really fast. I'm gonna do that in an orange marker just so that we can see them and get it done, okay? So we're gonna go over one, up four, boom. Over one, negative two, boom. Uh, negative three, negative two, so we're gonna go to negative three, negative two, and negative three, negative three, so negative three. Oh, negative three, three, sorry, not negative three. Okay, so graph the figure and find the length of side BC. Okay, well, B to C, okay, so B started at one, negative two, so this one's B which makes this one C. So I went one, two, three, four places, four units, okay? So this one, I'm just gonna go ahead and graph those two because I only need to know the length of B to C, okay? So one, we're gonna go over to five and up to four, and we're gonna go over five and up one. So one, two, three, three units. Okay, really all you had to do there was B and C, you didn't have to do the other ones, so my bad. Okay, on a map of city blocks is a square with it, three of its vertices at negative four, one, 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 and one, negative four. What are the coordinates of the remaining vertex? vertex. Okay, so let's do it, okay? Negative uh, four, one, so one, two, three, four, one, boom, okay, and one, one, and one, negative four, so one, negative four, which means that this one is our one that we need. So we're going to go negative one, two, three, four, negative one, two, three, four, so negative four, negative four. There we go. Okay. We're going to do that again. Okay. We're going to go one, zero. We're going to go negative one, two, three, zero. We're going to go negative two, one, two, and one, two, three. Okay. What are the coordinates? Okay, so this is going up three and over one. Up three, over one. So this is the one that we need, okay? Oh, you guys can't even see that, sorry. Okay, so all I did was because this is going one, two, three up and over one, I went one, two, three up and over one, okay? So now I went over two and up one, two, three. So, two comma three, okay? All right, so we're gonna go on to the back where you guys are gonna do a lesson check, just like always, okay? And we're gonna go down to the spiral review, okay? So, the spiral review says, Marcus needs to cut a five row lines of yarn into equal pieces for his art project. Write an equation that models the length L in yards of each piece of yarn if Marcus cuts it into P pieces. All right. Well, the length of the yarn is going to is five yards, and we're going to cut it up and divide it into pieces. Done. Okay. All right. The area of a triangular flag is 330 square centimeters. If the base of the triangle is 30 centimeters, what's the height of the triangle? All right, well, let's find out. Okay. I'm going to use the back of one of these. That'll work just fine. Okay, so the area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2. Okay. I'm going to fill in the numbers that it gave me says that the area is 330 and the base is 30. OK, 
Okay, nothing else changed. Okay, so now I'm going to combine my like terms. Well, I know that if I divide 30 by 2, I get 15. So 330 equals 15 times H. And I want to get H alone. Well, in order to get H alone, I need to do the opposite of the sign, which is divide. And I need to do the number that's with that, which is 15. So now I need to come over to this side. Because whatever I do to this side is the equal sign, I have to do to this side. Okay? So now I have 230 divided by 15. Let's do it. Okay? Well, 15 is not going to go into 3. It will go into 33, 2 times, 2 times 15 is 30. Subtract and get 3, okay? 3 is smaller than 15, so I'm going to bring down my 0, and we just said that 15 goes into 30, 2 times, 2 times 15 is 30, subtract is 0, so your height is 22 centimeters. Okay? Now, Make sure you pause and write down your work, okay? All right. So, a trapezoid is six and a half feet tall. Its bases are 9.2 feet and 8 feet. What is the area of the trapezoid? Okay, well, the area of a trapezoid is base 1 plus base 2 times the height divided by 2, okay? So I'm going to fill in what it's giving me, okay? So it's telling me that the height is six and a half feet, okay? It's telling me that one base is 9.2, ah, not that, and the other is eight, okay? And the divide by two state, okay? Okay, so now eight plus nine is 17, and we still have the point two, so 17.2. And I'm going to go ahead and make that 6.5 because 0.5 is the same thing as a half. Okay. So I'm going to multiply by 6.5. Okay. And now I'm going to multiply and then I'll divide it by 2. Okay. So 5 times 2 is 10. Carry our 1. 5 times 7 is 35 plus 1 is 36. Carry our 3. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 3 is eight. Okay, we are going to tick tack toe. Six times two is 12, carry our one. Six times seven is 42, plus one is 43, carry our four. And six times one is six, plus four is 10. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and add them up. Okay, zero, eight, 11, carry the one, one, and one. I'm going to go in one, two places for our decimal. So now I have 111.8, one, one, one and I'm going to leave the zero just in case I need. Okay? Well, two is not going to go into one, but it'll go into 11 five times. Five times two is 10, subtract, get one. All right. One is smaller than two, so I'm going to bring down my other one. Two goes into 11 five times. Five times two is 10, subtract, get one. Okay, and one is still smaller than two. I'm going to pop my decimal up, though, from right there. Okay, now I'm going to bring down that eight. Two goes into 18. Nine times nine times two is 18. Subtract, get zero. It turns out I don't need that zero. Okay, so 55.9 square feet. 55.9 feet. Squared, you can write square feet if you want to. I'm just not going to. But pause it and write down your work, guys. Show your work, okay? All right. The dimensions for the rectangle below will be multiplied by three. How will the area be affected? Okay. Area will be multiplied. And remember, from the last lesson, you're going to multiply that number by itself. So 3 times 3 is 9. Okay? All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out for Chapter 10. Come on back for Chapter 11. See you soon.